Hello everyone, Warp here, and I'm going to show you the methods that I use to get to 100 on the scoreboard very quickly. After watching some Mr. West Tech videos and Angry Turtle videos, as well as getting some great tips from people in my stream, I've come up with a good strategy for myself to really blow through West Tech doing it in a solo method. We'll go point by point, and first of all, I'm going to show you how to actually do the West Tech grind. So here, you see, I come in right to the right here. I'm going to be going down the stairs. I take out my fixer. Shoot these two guys. There's going to be a hound and a super mutant. This guy, that guy in the other room, it's fine if you miss him. You'll get him on the way out. So in here, the dog is a big issue there. You make sure you reload. He killed me before. So I'm trying to reload right in the middle of shooting him. So right here, you see I'm trying to aim between that machine and the thing in the middle, right in that little crack there. So you kind of get it right there and just start running. Now, from the second room, I aim just past the shadow be before that white line. Just kind of get it right in that area. Now I'm going to run away, make sure I don't blow myself up. Now I do miss a little bit on this first take, but I get it right on the second try. But I'm aiming for just below the ramp that's to the left you can see where I, that's where i'm trying to get it i missed just by a little bit here and i'm trying to get it further further over to the right there will be two dudes who i do not get by where i put it but that is totally fine because i come back and i kill them both on the way back up and uh it's going to be like a rinse and repeat every time i come back up i kill those two and also it keeps my adrenaline going for basically the entire time as I'm going, I don't think that there's never a large enough gap where my adrenaline really runs out. So anyway, I come down here, I kill these dudes. And jump down here. Sometimes there's one that paths, but you can see one right here in the door. And this is where my Tesla rifle is going to come into effect. There's one super mutant that's normally sitting behind glass, uh, sitting on a um, computer, which I can show you right here. He's normally kind of chilling right there. And he's kind of hard to tag, so I bring the Tesla just so that I can shoot right over there, get him right around the corner, and I pop him. And now, because you need to wait like the 30 seconds or a minute or however long to make this reset, coming down here not only makes me so I can keep on killing during that time, also when I go all the way down to the end, you'll see up here that they actually respawn. I've had as many as like four or five right here back by the door. You see here a couple do, and I and that, that's basically the way that I know that they respawn upstairs. So I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to kill those two dudes that I missed up upstairs. And because I'm killing these guys uh, here first, that means that I can throw my grenade a little bit further over to the left. I'm trying to get more of the actual room. But anyway, I'm going to go here in full speed, so you can kind of see. Sometimes that dog's head gets stuck in there, you got to... Kind of go around the corner if you're trying to get him in bats. That guy does go to the right sometimes, right, middle, or left, but he's always kind of in that room. And here you go. This is not as a, I always reload before the dog when I was testing this out after watching the Mr. West Tech video. The um, the two things I had to switch to the non-explosive uh, fixer that I was using because he would come up and and hit me and I'd kill myself blowing blow myself up with the uh, the explosive gun because I my health is so low. But anyway, here we go, and now you can see on this attempt that I do get the grenade in the right spot. And the numbers are a little bit lower, because you have to remember that I did kill the first two dudes right on the way up. So you'd have to add, uh, make 4,000 experience. But anyway, it's pretty much that simple, rinse and repeat. And you can kind of see here, with this method, there are some dudes that are left in here. You can kind of see one up here. Those are some dead bodies, but there are just a couple throughout the whole place if you go through there. So you're never going to get 100% kill for the whole place, but what you're after is speed. All right, everyone, let's go over the perks and buffs and the gear that I used to make this whole method work awesome sauce. I made a special build here. I put 15 points in intelligence as well as the 5 points that I'm getting from the legendary perk card. That is going to give me an additional 20 points in intelligence, which is going to give me a lot more experience. As far as the other legendary perk card that I used, I used Detonation Contagion. And that's going to make it so when the dudes die from the grenade, uh, they can kind of do like chain explosions. 
All right, let's go over the cards that are really required to make this work. The ones that are going to be affecting the explosions are going to be in the perception. It is going to be grenadier. This is going to make the radius of the explosions bigger. In intelligence, you have demolition expert that is going to make the explosions do more damage, which is really important. In agility, you have adrenaline. This is the reason that when we first start, we kill the seven dudes at the start to get our adrenaline to proc up to get the additional 60% damage. Additionally, having nerd rage and bloody mess will give us an across the board amount of damage. Bloody mess is just pure added damage and the nerd rage is for when we are below health. And the experience cards that I used in perception is night person. It doesn't actually count as half the day, but in the middle of the night, I get three more intelligence, which equals more experience. I am in a team, so in Charisma, the inspirational cards giving me a bonus of 15% experience, which is really nice. Now, the strange in numbers in Charisma, as well as the class freak in Luck, they help uh, negate the negative parts of the mutation, and strange in numbers makes the positive parts do 25% more, which is really nice. Now, all of this is done so that we can increase the amount of intelligence that we have that is going to give us more experience, which is what we are after. Now, the things that are giving us more experience here are going to be from food. We have the brain bombs and the cranberry relish. From our aid, we have the live and love three, the bobblehead leader, as well as the berry mentats. We get a 2% increase into our intelligence using the mechanical derby game. We get an additional 100% by using four lunch boxes at 25% experience each. Those are a really big boost. We also get 5% extra experience from being well rested and also 5% from the sacred mothman tome. All right, here's a list of my mutations if you want to pause. Uh, but the important ones that are here are gonna be Egghead's gonna give us eight more intelligence with the strange in number uh, making the negative go away. We get, it uh, goes up from six to eight, which is really nice. And the big one here is gonna be herbivore. That's what's making our brain bombs and our cranberry relish go up by like the huge numbers. And we're after experience here, so these are really, really important. Other than that, you can additionally take a marsupial serum. Um, and for the, the time that it is suppressing it, it'll take away the negative one intelligence that you get, which is also really helpful if you want to really min-max. All right, and as far as armor goes, it is important to have a full set of unyielding armor. Each piece will give you three to all stats except for endurance. And if you can get uh, lucky enough to get a full set that has intelligence as a second star, that will give you a total of 20 more intelligence. All right, now I'm using three different weapons for this because of the fact that uh, the Elder's Mark that I have, uh, it is important to have an Elder's Mark, by the way. Uh, whatever weapon that you're actually holding and is out, when you throw a grenade, it will utilize the buffs that the weapon has. And since I'm bloodied, it is increasing the damage as low as my health is. And also the 60 armor penetration that is on it uh, will also affect the grenades, which is really nice. Uh, but the second star is explosive for the gun damage, which is actually killing me when the dogs were coming up and attacking me. So I do have a second gun of just a normal bloodied fixer uh, to pursue shooting stuff. And I also have, it doesn't really matter what you have as a Tesla, um, but this is the one I was using. That's basically just to tag the guy around the corner. And the last piece of this build is under apparel, and that is going to be a shielded casual lining. Um, under armor, this is just a flannel shirt and jeans, but it has the plus three intelligence on it, which is going to be really, really awesome. All right, and the star of the show here is the Nuka Grenade. Now, it's got to be a Nuka Grenade and not a Nuka Quantum. The Quantums don't actually damage through walls, but the Nuka Grenade, when you throw it, it will kill anything within the radius, regardless if they're behind anything or in another room. So, pew, pew. All right, everybody, I really hope this helped you out. I hope you get the scoreboard finished ASAP. And if you're leveling up, I hope this really helped you out. And I do want to give a big shout out to Mr. West Tech and Angry Turtle for their awesome content. I got most of the tips that I got from here from them. Also, in the stream that I did when I was testing this all out, trying to 
not suck at it. Um, we got some great tips from some people in my stream. So thank you guys so much for participating and hanging out with me. And I do stream often. I do have regular streams on Saturday and Sunday, as well as pretty much just stream whenever I'm on. Um, but there's also a link down in the description to our Discord if you want to come hang out with us. And yeah, please click like and subscribe and uh, let's rock and roll. And I will see you guys out there in the wasteland.